All right, I am now joined with singer-songwriter extraordinaire Sam Lundell. Thank you so much for joining us hey, here today. Hey, thank you for having me. This is awesome. my pleasure. Thank you. Um, so you're a singer-songwriter, kind of born and raised in the Ludminster area. Pretty yes. much everyone already knows you at this point. <laughs> but um, let's kind of start from the beginning. How did you get into music? Um, well, I had a brother who, when he was 16, sang at Carnegie Hall with his jazz choir. And so I grew up just sitting at a piano bench with him and my whole, my mom's side of the family grew up like singing gospel stuff and like tons of, like just tons of harmonies all the time yeah. around the house. So we just, it was a family thing. Cool. And then uh, when I was five, my parents decided that uh, it was, it was okay for me to start playing some classical violin and then just kind of everything spiraled from there. Okay. So it's just kind of always been around, always, always. musical. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and so earlier this year was really exciting. You mm -hmm. released your very first album called Head Hands. Yes. Um, what was that process like making an album? And you <laughs> wrote it too. Yes. Yeah. We, we pretty much did. We had our hands in everything. So, uh, so my wife did all the artwork. I did um, all the writing either on my own or with a couple of the people, but I had my hands in all of that. All the music was done by me and my drummer and that's it. Um, yeah, so it was it was a process to be sure. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah lots of learning, lots of learning. Doing uh, an independent record, kind of all on your own, was uh, quite a learning curve. But we had so much great help along the way. You know, getting involved with Story High when we did our music yeah. video, got some awesome funding there, and that kind of launched us into working with the Banff Center for the recording side. And, uh, and yeah, and like guys at OCL in Calgary getting us started with the first single, like just everybody's been so helpful and willing to work with us along the way. So got to learn from a lot of good people at the same time. That's awesome. And so now that the record is out there, what's, mm. wha how has that been like? It's been, it's been really cool. We actually, we just heard from a station in Toronto, uh, one wow. of the college stations that started playing us just kind of out of the blue. You know, you just, you just shoot stuff out there and hope that somebody picks it up and people are starting to. So it's been great. And obviously everybody around here, you know, all, all the local radio stations have been have been absolutely fantastic to yeah. us. Um, yeah, so we got some great features. Then we went out and we did a little bit of a tour, kind of a, a few core spots through Alberta that um, that it was I kind of had a, a a grounding in and that were important to me to get mm -hmm. the record out to and played a bunch of shows and had just a super fun time. Played hard shows, played fantastic shows. Again, learned so much. This awesome. was this has been a really great learning summer. That's really cool. And um, so. If for someone who hasn't heard your music, how would you describe your sound? <laughs> the, uh, the quandary we're always um, faced with. Yeah. We very much had this in the studio, too. We were just talking to each other and like, man, what does this sound like? We don't you know. You have a variety of a little mm -hmm. bit of everything on the album. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of different influences. The easiest catch-all is like indie rock or indie electronic rock, like mm -hmm. that kind of thing. It, there's, it's it's really hard to say. There's some there's some real pop sensibilities in there. There's some like just way out there. Indie is the only word you could use, yeah. kind of sound. So somewhere in that realm, you'll find something. If you like anything in that kind of zone, you'll find something that you might like. I feel <laughs> like there's something for everyone on, with your music. There is. Yeah. There is. I hope so. Anyway. Uh, so speaking of your music and shows, uh, you have one coming up next Friday at yes. the Root here in town. So uh, when? How can people get tickets and? People can currently get tickets right now on Eventbrite. Um, it's also on Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's just facebook.com slash Sam Lundell. Any of those links to any of the socials, that kind of stuff, you can go to my website. But yeah, tickets are cheaper now if you get them beforehand. I'm cool. pretty sure they're 12 50 and then there'll be $15 at the door if there's any left. And, uh, and yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, next Friday, November 2nd. All right. Well, make sure you get your tickets to support uh, local artist Sam Lundell. I want to thank you so much for coming here. And thank congratulations so on me. all your success. Thank you again.